Good morning, guys. Oh my gosh, we have been down for the count in the Robinson household. Sam's got the worst of it now. Um, me and Ezra had it first and then it kind of shuffled through and he's working from home today because his boss just got over COVID and she was like, I don't care what you have. I don't need you coming in the office and giving me anything extra. Um, we did a bunch of at home tests. Like I did two and Ezra did one and they all were negative for COVID. So 2024 and I still have not had it. Um, <clears throat> which is really interesting to say because I literally know, I don't think I know a single other person besides Sam who can say that. So anyways, um, we've just been struggling. It's very, we're very nasally. And part of me really does think like it's sinuses, but at the same time it's been passed around because anytime I go outside, it gets so much worse. Like my, I get so much more congested and icky. Um, so I would assume it's sinuses, but I, mean, I don't really think you can just like pass around allergies. So anyway, I think there's a baby in my drawer. Mr. Roman, is that you out here? Um, but anyways. <sighs> Look at this little cutie. The boys both have like, matching pajamas today. The little Mario Kart pajamas. They're from Target. I'll link them below. You're so cute. You're so cute. You want to come hang out with mommy and watch this makeup? I'm only doing it quick. Um, I did want to update you guys on a little thing. So a couple vlogs back, I talked about how I started on Lexapro. And I absolutely love my new doctor. And one of the things he was even telling me yesterday, he was like, I've been on Zoloft for years. And he was like, I was actually having a beer with some friends. And I mentioned that I was on Zoloft. And he said, so many of the guys who I've been friends with for years had also been on Zoloft and I didn't know. And he was like, it's just not something we talk about, you know, we don't talk about medications that you take on a regular basis. And I completely agree. And I feel like I wish those conversations were a little bit more normal because the way that Lexapro has made me feel like for the first time in two years, I can take a deep breath has truly been life changing for me as a mother, for me as a wife. Everyone has benefited, not just me, from me being on Lexapro. Um, and I actually went to girls night the other night and I was talking to my girlfriends and one of them is on Lexapro too. And I was like, oh, I had no idea. So it's, again, it's just like, it's not something usually, I don't feel like it's a normal topic of discussion. I don't know, but it, it's truly been life changing. I've been on it for a month. I went back and I think I mentioned this in that vlog that he had said he thinks I have like adult ADHD or just ADHD that was never diagnosed. He went, I, I was still having a couple little things that I was noticing and I feel like the Lexapro kind of heightened my understanding of some things that were happening. So I went back and he said, I believe you have ADHD. We're going to start you on a very, very low dose. Um, and one of the things I loved about him is he has like a multi-step plan and he likes to start here and then move up. And like my other doctor just was like, slap a bandaid on it, give you, you know, the medium level medication and call it a day. And like, I'll just write you a script. And like, this guy really listens and wants to like tweak and really figure out and fine tune what's going on. So he started me with a very low dose of Adderall. When I tell you that I noticed an instant difference in the way my brain felt so much quieter in such a positive way. I didn't realize how many times, like I was telling Sam, like I'm usually, I'm pretty rough on myself. Like, huh, I wouldn't say I beat myself up, but I would definitely say I'm like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty tough critic of myself. And I always, especially working for myself and being a stay at home mom, I have this guilt for both of, well, there's something you could be doing. You could be doing this more. And if I'm pouring myself into house chores, I'm like, well, you know, you really could be focusing on work and making more money. Like, why are you not doing that? And then if I do that, I'm like, wow, you're really neglecting your house chores. Like that sucks. And I feel like those two medications have not only helped me not say those things to myself and not be so tough on myself, but it helped me focus on what I was doing. And I wasn't like what the big thing was is I started a little laundry one day and then I looked over and noticed that the vacuum, the Tenco, I had not emptied it, which is a big no, no, if you've ever used that cause it's a wet dry mop back. So it's really gross and can get smelly. Immediately I stopped what I was doing and went and emptied that kind of splashed up. So I had to like wash the whole toilet, 
Then I went to wash my hands after doing that and I noticed the sink was full of dishes, but I hadn't emptied the dishwasher. So I emptied the dishwasher and then while I was reloading it, one of the boys dumped something out. And so I went to go fix that. And it was like, everything in my life was 70% done. And that's just a minor thing. But again, like I was just kind of beating myself up. So between these two medications, I feel like, a, like I'm just, I've taken a deep breath and I feel like I'm not hard on myself like I was before. And I feel like I'm more focused and it's made me happier because I'm not, I don't have this voice up here that's like, you're not doing enough. You're not being enough. You're not working hard enough. Um, comparison can really get the best of everybody. So if you were considering it, I don't, I don't ever want to push anybody to do anything they don't want to, but if, I, I'm here to say if you are considering it, know that it is probably more normal than you realize. There are probably a lot more people in your life that are on those medications. Maybe they're afraid to talk about it. Maybe they don't want to talk about it at all. I'm cool with, you know, being your big sis and sharing my story if it helps. I'm telling you that like me as a mother, I, I'm just a different person and it feels so good. Like I feel like I've just taken a deep breath and I can't say that enough that like, and I wouldn't say I'm someone who felt like I was drowning constantly. Like I have a lot of help and we are very blessed and very fortunate that like Sam has understanding bosses that let him work from home and he's a hands-on, very, very involved father. We live next door to my parents. So even then with the way I was feeling, like I, I know that there are people out there who feel in the same way. You don't have to feel like that. And I just, I'm so happy. Anyway, I wanted to give y'all an update because a lot of you guys had said the same thing in the comment section of that video that like it had helped you or that you wish more people were open about that kind of conversation because mental health is so important. And I completely agree. Good little ideas and goodies up here that I want to share with you guys. Um, and with that being said, one of the reasons I actually started this vlog is I'm sitting down. So it is almost the end of uh, August, not October. Um, it's not really, it's, we're right about midway, but before we know it, it's going to be the end. And we're gonna be pushing September. We've got fall coming. Um, here, we don't get fall weather until late October, early November. And even then, it really isn't usually anything crazy until like December, January. And then by February, it's over. Um, so we tend to get a little hint of fall weather in September. And then October is a hot, hot month for us. I don't know why, but it's like September's like, hello, fall. And then October's like, never mind, JK. And then November comes back and it's a little different. With that being said, I'm trying to plan out fall content. That means here, that means um, here I do a little bit of everything. On the main channel, I like to keep it strictly fashion and or beauty, um, depending on just what, you know, what's going on in my life. I still keep it all very realistic and within what I'm doing. But I want to know if there's anything in particular you guys want to see for the fall time. Decorating videos, do you want to see fall fashion? Do you want to see more recipes here? Um, I am planning on getting back to the vlog channel now that I don't feel so overwhelmed and like just in my own head about everything and I feel like life's a little bit more settled. Um, but let me know what you guys want to see for fall time. I absolutely love this house. And this was, of course, this time last year, I had a not even one month old baby. He was teeny, teeny, tiny. So like the last, last year's holidays, like right at Thanksgiving was the day he hit his like four month sleep regression kick. And I remember sister-in-law and my brother were like, oh, he is fussy. He's usually not so fussy. And I was like, yep, yeah, that's just four month sleep regression. So. I feel like this year, like the holidays, the fall time, I'm gonna be so much more excited to do all that kind of content stuff. So let me know. And then the final thing, and the thing I'm most excited about, something I will be covering content wise, cause I can't, I can't wait. I can't even believe I'm saying these words. My very sweet brother, if you guys have been here, I believe I vlogged that weekend. You guys have been here since my younger brother, Daniel, got married in May of 20... Oh God, it was 2021. Has it been that long? Yeah, May of 2021. We went to the beach with them in May. And my sister-in-law, she has very sensitive skin, but she's got beautiful skin. Like she's one of those, I'm like, oh, you can't convince me that God does not have favorites. Her skin does not have pores. 
Like I've seen her without makeup and I'm like, where are your pores? Like you can't convince me God didn't have favorites when girls, when she has skin like that, it's perfect. But it's very, very sensitive. And there was one day she was like, I'm not feeling that good. I have this huge eczema breakout on my arm and it was awful. And we were like, what the heck happened? And she was like, I only guess it's from the chlorine. I don't know. So she had to try and treat it. Um, it, it was weird. It, it kind of like came and then about two or three days later went away, but it was bad. And it was out of absolutely nowhere. Turns out what caused her weird skin reaction was not the chlorine. It was my niece that she's crying about me. Oh my gosh. So that was actually, literally that was the day that like she like, got pregnant, meaning like the baby probably like implanted and her body started producing that HCG hormone and her body was like, oh, what's going on? And immediately she had a skin reaction, which is what happened to me almost immediately after E, I had the weirdest like um, dry skin around my nose. And I was like, what is going on? I had some weird random symptoms as soon as now I realized the day that he like implanted and my body started producing that hormone, uh, my skin was like, mm, what's going on? So she's pregnant and she came and told us a couple days after they, she literally found out the day they got home from the beach. That morning they like got up and they left. We all were ready to go, but they definitely were like skirting out the door really quick. And she said that they were like on the way home. And she was like, Daniel, I think I'm pregnant. And they had been trying for a while and they went home and she said they literally walked in, dropped their stuff, took the test and it was positive. And my little niece is in there. And I'm so, oh, I'm so excited. We've been saving baby stuff for ever. Everything that we bought, we hoped we would give to our siblings. We didn't know what the baby order would be. My older brother and his wife had their daughter. Literally, she was actually due the day that I gave birth to Ro, but she was born six weeks early. She only had a four day Nikki stay, a little fighter. She kicked the Nikki's ass and was like, peace out, I'm not staying here. So she was born early, but she, we couldn't obviously give them baby stuff because I, like literally her due date was July 29th and my due date was August 14th or 15th. I can't remember exactly what day, but we were due right next to each other. So we couldn't give them all the baby stuff. Well, I don't believe they're gonna have any more kids. I don't know. Um, they go back and forth. So ultimately, when Daniel and Kayla told us they were pregnant, I was like, okay, take all the stuff I've been saving. Like we had literally two huge shelves full of stuff in our garage and we've already started giving it to them. They're taking our snoo, they're taking, they took our Duna, they're taking our Nuna, they're taking, I mean, our high chair because Roman just up and kind of decided he doesn't want to sit in the high chair anymore. Like he likes the booster seat. And so we have this like amazing high chair that we just don't use. And I think he likes the booster seat because he sees Ezra use it. So it's like, yes, we could take the front off of the Stoke high chair and let him sit at the table with it. But he just, he wants to be like his big brother. So anyway, we have all this stuff and I'm like so happy. It makes me like next level happy to be able to give that stuff to my baby brother and his wife. And they are having a shower in October. It's going to be a small just little like family. I think it's probably just immediate family, maybe a couple extended family and some friends. Um, but we're doing it in Rock Hill where they live. And we're doing it in October and I am so excited to help throw this little shower. Um, I've done one girl shower before and there were like nine or 10 of us that went in on this one shower. So I really didn't have a ton of stuff to do with that. This one I'm a little bit more hands-on um, and helping. I, her mom is really throwing it, but we are absolutely going to help throw it. So I will be sharing all the fun content that I can in regards to what I do for the shower. He's in the closet. I'm so like I cannot freaking wait for them to experience parenthood. They're gonna be such good parents. They're great dog parents. They have two dogs now. They just bought their home, like literally timing wise last Christmas. It was Christmas day. I was like, hey, how's the house hunting going? And they were like, it's not going good. Like we're probably not gonna find anything. I just don't see how it's gonna be possible that we find anything anytime soon. And they were like, we're gonna go see one tomorrow. We don't know. 
and we'll just have to see. Yeah, that was the house that they ended up getting and they moved in February. February or March? I think it was February. Um, so we went and saw the house in March and they got pregnant in May. So right around the one year mark of them being in this home, we'll bring a little girl home. And they've been like doing little remodel things here and there. Like they installed a new sink. Um, I think they have done, I don't think they're retiling yet, but I think their plan is to retile, but they've like painted the fireplace. They've retiled the floor in there. That was like the first project Daniel, he all of a sudden wanted to retile the floor in their half bath. And I couldn't remember what it looked like, but I remember thinking that like, the floor was really nice and he was like, oh no, it just needed to be done. And it was like, all of a sudden they were like, we need to retile the floor. And it was because they had found out she was pregnant. And they were like, we're not gonna get to this after we have a tiny little baby, so let's do it now. So. I, I am ringing for them like at least once a day. I'm just like, I'm so excited for my little brother and his wife and that precious little baby. Anyways, this has been a long chatty vlog from the beginning, but I am planning on vlogging the rest of today pending we feel okay and everyone's good. Um, so I'm gonna go get dressed now and I'll see you all in Roman is in a very grumpy mood because he's teething. We've done everything we can to keep him comfortable. He's just grumpy. So if you hear him crying, that's what it is, but got some Amazon stuff and I wanted to share um, a little unboxing real quick. And I do have a Walmart delivery coming. Um, it should be like fairly soon. We're gonna do pasta salad take two. This time I'm not gonna put enough ingredients in there to make enough for an army, but that pasta salad that I made, a pasta salad I made the other day was very popular. Both the boys absolutely loved it, which was great. So it's already gone, so I'm making more. It's really like light and fresh. But first thing I got from Amazon, I like the Cakes nipple covers. I shared them in a video, but they are not sticky. And the other day I was wearing a really loose shirt like this. Like I'm not wearing a bra with this, but I just don't want like my nips out. Um, and the cakes don't work for stuff like this because it does need to have, like you need to have a little bit of a form fit. So excuse me, we're just gonna edit this part right out. But these seem to be similar to the cakes size-wise and how thin they are, but they're sticky. Oh yeah, that's so nice. Okay, and you like can't see them, which is a huge benefit. <laughs> I just, I like them, but I was like putting, I had on like a looser, it was girls night and I had on this top that like tied and it was really loose. And they kept falling away and so finally I just pulled them off and I was like, I can't do this. So anyways, this is the nipple covers. If you want ones that are sticky. Ordered more zinc. Um, obviously this is great for your immune system, but I actually had a dermatologist tell me on threads that zinc, and I looked into it, if you take zinc, it can like prolong the life of your Botox because I guess it's like, Zinc, your body needs zinc or Botox needs your body to have zinc in order to form to it or whatever. I was like, um, yeah, I would take zinc, immune boost, and it helps my Botox stay longer. Absolutely. Got a couple pairs of earrings. I've been so addicted to gold earrings lately. And I will wear like statement gold earrings with something like this or like a graphic tee because I feel like they're just so pretty. I don't know why I'm like been very into that look. I don't know. I think I saw it on Pinterest or something. I've just been into it, but these earrings very lightweight let's try them on i do have two earring holes which is nice because that means more earrings to wear oh that's pretty i don't i've just been so into like the door knocker style all the fun funky shapes i like chunky gold earrings like see they just make like enough of a statement obviously probably not with this but those are pretty. And then I got these in hopes, and I'll have to show you guys the other ones. Okay, this is definitely more of what I thought. <laughs> so I got these earrings from Amazon. Let me back up. I saw some earrings and they were like over a hundred bucks. I think they were like 110, 120 bucks. And I was like, for earrings. Mm, I don't know. Like it, it, that's a lot for earrings. So I wasn't sure about it. So I screenshotted them, went to Amazon, found some. And they came in and they were massive. And I was like, oh, okay, that's not what I expected. <laughs> like I thought they were significantly smaller. So I found the exact earring similar to the one that was like 110, but more appropriate to the size. So you guys see, it's like very, very little, but let me 
Let me take these earrings back here and I'll show you guys what I got in. You will be shooketh. You've probably seen them. I don't know. I think I vlogged on them once before. Oh, I need to grab the uh, nipple cover bag. So this is my earring organizer and I absolutely love it. I got it from Amazon in a little two pack. It's very convenient because if it falls over, your earrings don't get like everywhere. Okay, are we ready? So this is what I thought I was getting the first time, right? This is what I got. <laughs> so I was like, mm, we're gonna have to try something smaller. So I wanted smaller, like I, I don't know if we would really call these hoops, but just something a little more simple. So that's, um, I love. Now I am very blessed to be on the Kendra Scott PR list. I'm so grateful because I love Kendra Scott jewelry. But the other day I got very overwhelmed because there was so much jewelry that I had that I didn't even know I had because I just had way too much. So I have told myself moving forward, if it does not fit in, if obviously like statement earrings are a little bit different, but I have two of these. I got one two pack. I have so many earrings that they don't fit in this. I have to start getting some. That's my new, it's gonna be my new thing because this is a lot of earrings and I understand fashion is literally part of my job. Like it is, it is a part of who I am here. Um, but it just, like I have two ears. Yeah, I've got, you know, two sets of holes in all my ears, but in all my ears, I got two ears. But you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's just crazy. And to some extent, like how many pairs of you know, hoop earrings or whatever do you need? So um, that's my new thing. So I've got my gold day today, some statement, but like just things I wear the most in this size. And then Kendra Scott came out with a football collection or like a sports collection. So I'm a 49ers fan. I don't know if I've ever said this before, Debo Samuel. I don't know if everyone really has school situations the same, but basically we're a part of a certain district and there's two high schools within this district. Debo Samuel went to, and I believe graduated my same year. Um, so like our kind of town tends to gravitate towards NFL wise 49ers, unless there is a different reason why, just because like Debo Samuel is from here. So anyways, 49ers fan, I also love Brock Purdy so much. I love Christian McCaffrey. Um, but when they told me they came out with these and asked me which ones they, I wanted them to send, I was like red for the 49ers. They've got purple, orange, brown, green, blue, yellow. They also have and I'll have all these linked below. Little footballs, which I thought were cute. They had, I think, tennis balls, or no, tennis rackets. They had volleyballs. I think they had soccer. They came out with all of them. Um, these are, they're like a, I think it's resin, just like little teeny tiny hoops, again, red. 49ers. And then these also are just like pretty, like standard, gorgeous stud, um, no, hoop earrings from Kendra Scott. And I got these actually in silver as well to do a giveaway on Instagram. So anyways, this is the situation we've got now. We're starting to fill the second bin. But it's getting close to dinner time and I can hear these kids out here being crazy, so. I guess we're gonna go figure out what we're doing for dinner. Probably no can sausage, but I'm gonna make the pasta salad again this time with you guys, but we're gonna do it right. What? Oh, grumpy, because you got yourself up there. So this is the pasta you're supposed to use, and you do not make it al dente. So I did that last time because I wasn't sure how the um, Italian dressing was gonna soak up in it. No, you fully cook it. You do not need it to be al dente. I'm gonna use these mini cucumbers, and then literally this is all this like huge thing of the um, cherry tomatoes pepperoni minis, and then I use these zesty Italian. This is not reinventing the wheel or anything here. I just messed it up last time because I didn't use the right kind of pasta and I didn't cook it correctly. But again, I think I like her pasta salad recipe so much because a lot of pasta salad that at least I have had in the past had like purple onions in it and also feta. And those two things are so powerful. Like those are very powerful flavors. And so I feel like this is just like mild and light and it's so delicious. So I am making more because especially Roman, Roman loves cherry tomatoes. And anytime I would make it, I would make them a bowl too. And they like, oh my gosh, they ate pasta salad 
so many times this past week and I was like, at the end of the day, it's not horrible for him. So we're gonna make it again. And there she is. Looks way better this time already. I cut, what? You got a banana. I cut the cucumbers um, a lot smaller this time too, so we're good to go. So it looks silly, but I have found the key to all these little baby flyaways if you're not like washing your hair in the shower is to put these little clips on it on the like parts that tend to curl specifically for me, like all of my little baby hairs that are growing back, freaking curl, especially the sides. I was waking up and then I was getting in the shower and my hair was like this. And now I just keep them mashed down. Um, but my hair is actually really dirty today, so it's probably gonna behave better than normal. Um, but I'm gonna close out this vlog because I didn't do it last night and I had a lot of stuff that I've talked about, but I wanted to very quickly before I do that, share a new, I guess we're like sharing a bunch of new favorite stuff. I don't know how to say this brand name, but this is the anti-aging body balm. So this is says, um, our silky body balm combines the lasting hydration of a lotion and the anti-aging benefits of a serum. It says it's super nourishing. It softens skin with a combination of passion fruit, coconut, acai, and Babasu oils. This has been OMG. I put this on after I get out of the shower in the morning because I shower twice a day. I just shower, like wash my face, wake up in the morning, and then at nighttime, if ever I'm gonna like wash my hair or anything, shave the whole nine. I do it at nighttime just because that's a little bit longer shower time. But I get out of the shower in the morning, and if you want your skin to be super hydrated, I had a um Lady told me a long time ago, you need to put lotion on within the first five minutes of getting out of the shower. So like you just dry your skin off really fast and then put lotion on. Within the first five minutes, put this on. I swear to you, your body is going to feel silky smooth like you just applied lotion without that like sticky feeling all day long. And it has anti-aging benefits. Now, have I seen the anti-aging benefits yet? No, I've literally been using it for like two weeks. Um, that is one of those things like you have to, you want any anti-aging benefits from a serum, lotion, mask, anything like that, you're gonna have to use it for a while. But this is just so hydrating, it is unreal. And I got two, um, cause they had a little two pack at the Nordstrom sale. It was literally like 9 p.m. the day the sale ended. And I just last second bought these. And so I wish I could link them on sale cause they were kind of expensive, but I mean, this is a huge bottle. It's five fluid ounces. So anyway. I absolutely love that. I've been using it for, maybe it's a little long. No, it's, today's the 15th, so I've been using it for 10 days. That's what it is. Cause it came in like very, very quickly. Um, but I'm going to fix this hair cause it's acting a little crazy um, and then put makeup on. But thank y'all so much for watching this vlog and I'll see you in the next one.